We are here, amen, to deliver a word from the Lord, amen, but we bless God for the Holy Ghost for he is here and he is filling the house right now. Every demon that come my way, he got to move. Every demon that come your way, he got to move now because the atmosphere has already been created and set. So get your Bibles, amen, turn quickly with me today because that thing that you've been praying for, it's about to work in your favor. Tell your neighbor, say, that thing you've been praying for is about to work in your favor. Oh, you scared to tell your neighbor. Tell him, say, you scared to say it. You better let the enemy know you ain't afraid of him. Because you walk in the authority and the power of the Holy Ghost. And when you walk in that, it has to move. Things have to happen when we pray. Tell your neighbor, things have to happen when you pray. Tell him, say, are you praying right? Look at them real good. Come on, somebody. Get your Bibles, amen. We're not going to be before you long, but we're going to just bless God, amen. We're going we to bless God in this house, say amen. Go with me, amen. We're going to go to two passages of scripture, amen. Our first scripture would be, amen, Philippians 4 and 6. And our next chapter would be Acts the 16th chapter, amen. Amen. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Let's read Philippians 4 and 6. Let's read it together. Amen. Amen. When you have it, everybody have it. Amen. Let's read. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Amen. Acts the 16th chapter and the 25th verse. Amen. 25 and 26. Let's read. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sing praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's bands was loose. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and doers of this word. Amen. We see that in Philippians 4 and 6, we see that now, we see that the, the word of the Lord says that do not fret or have anxiety over anything. Ask your neighbor, say, what are you worried about? Tell him, say, if you're praying about it, stop worrying about it. But in every circumstance, in every matter, in everything that you're going through, the Bible says by prayer and petition of prayer and supplication, he said, make your request known unto God. What is your request on today? What is it that you've been petitioning God for, that you've been praying to God for, that it seemed like nothing has happened? Well, I came with good gospel news today to let you know that my topic today is the prayer that leads to praise. Tell somebody, say, you got to have a prayer that leads to praise. Because when you begin to pray, things have to happen. When you begin to pray, change have to fall off when you begin to pray that petition that you praying for it has to come to pass i believe in the power of prayer i believe that when i get on my knees and i pray first of all i give thanks unto god because i know that if i give thanks i know that the word that i'm praying for is already in the will of god so you gotta pray that the will of god would be manifested in your life and if you know the word of god then you know the prayers that you pray it is the will of god now you can't go praying for something crazy but you gotta pray for things that's gonna be a blessing you gotta pray for things that's gonna be a blessing to you and that god has already promised must you so Paul said we pray sometimes we pray and we don't believe in the prayers that we pray but I believe in the power of prayer and I believe that when I pray something has to happen I believe that when I make my request known unto God he's got to do it it might not happen when I think it should happen but I believe if I keep walking in faith because we walk by faith and not by sight I believe that my God I believe that your God I believe the God of Elijah I believe the God of David I believe that the God of Jacob will come through for you because I believe that when I pray tell yourself say self you gotta believe when you pray something has to happen the reason why sometimes things are not happening because we still looking at yesterday yesterday is gone now when you gonna stop thinking about yesterday when you gonna stop living in last year
year and the year before last. It's time to give those things back. Because God can't bless like that. Because you're still living in your past. Well, when are you going to live in the future? When are you going to forget about what happened? So he said, do not fret about anything, about anything, but in, in every circumstance, in every matter. He said, by prayer and petition, he said, to free yourself from anxiety. Free yourself from everything. Because God is eager to listen to you. All you got to do is give thanks. And everything, give thanks. Everything. It doesn't matter what you might be going through. It doesn't matter what's challenging in your life. If you begin to give thanks, I guarantee you that thing won't be a problem anymore. But see, the devil want to keep you crippled. The devil want to keep your life stagnated because you don't believe in the power of your prayers. But I believe prayer works. I'm here because of prayer. I'm here because somebody prayed for me. I'm here because I believe in the prayers of the righteous avail of much. God want to shake the very foundation of that problem that you're in. He want to shake the very foundation of that house that you're in. Because God want to uproot some things. Some things just need to be uprooted before the prayer is answered. So some things in your life got to be uprooted before you see the manifestation of the prayer. When are you going to believe God is able? If you're going to worry about it, don't pray about it. But if you're going to pray about it, stop worrying about it. It's no need of you praying if you're going to worry. What you going to give God to work with? You trying to work it out and God says, I already worked out. Why are you beating yourself up? You still sad. Everybody else around you happy. You know why? Because they believe in the prayers of the righteous and they believe that their prayer work. Because they got down on their knees and they cried out to God and they believe that God, hear us, God hears us when we pray. So stop worrying about it. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, this is the prayer that leads to praise. In your financial things, you can pray about it and it has, something has to happen. In your physical life, if you're sick in your body, you pray about it, you have to be healed. Because I believe in Jehovah Rapha. Anybody here believe in Jehovah Rapha, that he is a healer? Anybody believe in Jehovah Jireh that he will provide? Anybody believe in Elohim? Anybody believe in El Shaddai? Anybody believe in El Elyon? Do anybody believe in Jehovah that Jehovah is able to deliver you? God is able. He has the power to deliver you right now. Do you believe you could be delivered right now? Do you believe God is able to show up in that situation right now? No, you don't. Because if you did, why are you still there? Somebody need to hear this word today. It's not like you haven't read it or heard it. It's just a reminder that you got to believe in the prayer that you pray. Three things you must do. Pray, supplicate, and offer thanksgiving to God. When you do that, God will bring you peace in every situation. Because he said the very peace of God will bring tranquility to the mind. He will give you peace in that situation where you don't have to worry about it anymore. Because once I pray about it, I don't worry about it. And I ask God, Lord, when I pray, give me peace about this situation. If I don't get no peace, mean that, that might not be in the will of God for my life. So I've learned in maturing in my prayer life that when I pray, I got to pray according to the word of God. According to the scripture, what the scripture says for my life. Because it is for me to be blessed. It is in his will for me to be healed. It is in his will for my children to be saved. I have a covenant with God. When you got a covenant with God, you don't break covenant. I got a covenant with my husband. I don't cheat on him. I don't talk against him. I built him up. So I got a covenant with my daddy. So I brag on my daddy. My daddy is a bad God. And my daddy love his girls. And because daddy love his girls, daddy got to come to see about me. My heavenly father, my Abba father, who art in heaven, he's my daddy. Who's your daddy? 
I believe in God. With all my heart, I believe in God. 